see a lot of sellers. Uh, I'm sure you guys see it that this all the time. That they love their craft. They love their their own product, right? Uh, you basically you're you're lo- loving your own product, but you're not able to sell it. That's a huge red flag. Uh, if people people no one else is going to be as passionate about it as you would be. But at least you should be able to sell your product, right? That's the like that the baseline, right? And and that's the different. Like I know I love how you guys say that marmalade is for serious sellers, right? And and I remember when you guys started saying that, and I'm like, you know what? That's such a right way to put things because if if you're serious about your business, right, then you look at it like a business. Of course, you know you'll have your passion and your art in one side, and but but there's a business side to things. And if it's not making financial sense, if it's not making business sense, you have to be hard on yourself and say, okay, this is not working. What else can I do that can work? And you know, you have to try different things for that. So um, there is no like rule of thumb, or there is not not no one book that you can you know read, or or one blog post that you can read that will help you get there. But it's a, it's a mindset of saying, you know, you have to have very. Uh, um, so one of my one of my really good friends he says this. Uh, I think someone else said this, but I heard it from him. He said, you know, have very uh, strong beliefs, you know, but hold them very loosely. Strong beliefs loosely held is what he uh, uh, say, says, uh, or weakly held is is his word. And then when we write it, I'm like, okay, that is it W E A K weekly or it's W E E K weekly, right? <laughs> <laughs> because uh, because things are changing so fast, right? We we have to have strong conviction, but we have to look at data and say, okay, whatever we believe is not making sense anymore. we should kind of we should rethink what we are doing right 